Hey guys, and welcome back to Raise Trains. Today's episode was supposed to be uh, a happy one in Raise Trains history, and it turned out not so much. <laughs> so I wanted to do uh, a little different intro here. I've already unboxed this and filmed that part. So I wanted to set it up. Uh, about a week ago, I went to my first train show in Allentown. It was a lot of fun. I was there for uh, about a few hours. And I'm going to put some footage of that uh, in here right now. So, like I said, it was a fun time. I bought a bunch of stuff uh, that I'm going to show off here on the channel. But this was going to be the first item. Uh, this was uh, one of the bigger purchases I made, uh, but it was definitely the most important purchase I made. It was going to be my first diesel locomotive from Lionel. And uh, I'll talk about... What I was looking for, I wanted a, a CSX engine. And I was looking around, like I said, for a few hours. Didn't really see anything. Um, I knew I wanted an older one because I didn't want to pay, you know, $500, $600, $700 uh, for a brand new engine. I thought I could probably find a good older one for $200 and something dollars. So then I came to this thing and it was sitting out on top of the box and I decided I wanted it. <laughs> so I told the guys, uh, there were three guys running this booth. It was a big booth. They had a lot of traffic. It was right in the middle of, the, of one of the halls. And I said, I'll take it. And they boxed it up for me. They took it out. They, I watched the guy box it up. No problem. Uh, but I guess my first, <laughs> my first clue that something was probably off was they didn't take a credit card. Now, I think that's ridiculous when you go to these things. Uh, <laughs> the cost of some of this stuff is, is crazy. Everyone should have a little card reader to plug into their phone. It costs, you know, 20 bucks on Amazon. Even the, I bought stuff from some really older guys who were actually struggling with the card reader. They still got it done. They, they made it happen. And when I asked if I could pay for this with a credit card, the, these guys, the, all three of them were like almost offended that I asked and were like, oh, we're just, we're just three guys. It's cash only. So I said, okay. And I, I paid with cash. So that should have been my, my first clue. So I'm not going to talk too much more about it. I'm just going to show you the film, the unboxing, and then maybe at the end I'll come back and do a little wrap up. But I also just want to say, bottom line is, this was my fault. Um, I'm a newbie. I let my excitement get the better of me, clearly. And just with the smallest about, uh, the smallest bit of due diligence uh, would have... <laughs> Would have stopped me from buying this thing, and I didn't do it. So that's a lesson learned for me. Uh, I'm going to do better uh, at my next train show, which is probably going to be York. Uh, I think I'm going to go down there with my wife uh, in April. Uh, so see you all there if you're going. But yeah, so I'm going to skip. Like I said, I, I filmed an intro before this one where I unboxed it. I'm going to skip that because it's pointless. 
And next thing you're gonna see is this thing out on a piece of track and me looking at it. And you'll see that I go from excited to pretty unhappy. <laughs> so, uh, okay, enjoy. Okay guys, so first impressions of my brand new SD70 Mac is it's a beast. <laughs> this thing is huge. Uh, it probably weighs like five pounds. Uh, I definitely need uh, more space <laughs> to run these engines, but um, just talk about the detailing a little bit. Uh, we got our operating headlights. We've got some hoses down here. I think there's a crew figure inside. Um, our smoke units in here. I'm excited to be able to use smoke for the first time. Uh, we got our horns. All of the signs actually have the text, which is awesome. You probably need a magnifying glass to see it, but this thing is so cool. Um, let me try and flip it around. Let's see the front. Got our safety chain there. Yeah, this thing weighs a ton. Get another track here. Uh, the detailing is, is so incredible. Now what I want to do is open this up and take a look our smoke unit and the switches should be in here too let's take a look here huh oh that's kind of odd I thought um, there would be switches here for the sound and the mode Huh. There should be a smoke unit here, I think. There's just... What is this? There's just two cut wires here. Oh no. Looks like this is disconnected from the... There's supposed to be like a circuit board here with switches. There's no smoke unit here. Um, I'm, I'm new at this, so I... I'm not 100% sure of what I'm looking at, but... I'm pretty sure this is... wrong. I think I might have been uh, duped here a little bit. Um, okay, I'm going to take a closer look at this thing on my own. And then maybe I'll get it on the track just to make sure it, it's going to run. So bear with me here. Okay, guys, uh, took a little closer look at this thing off camera and... I was definitely scammed. <laughs> I don't even know if this thing has engines in it. I I have my doubts that this thing's even going to run at all. Um yeah, it's it's a shame. I'm pretty pretty upset. Uh the guys never said anything about it not running. They said it ran. They almost tried to tell me it had legacy in it, which uh, of course it doesn't. I was you could read right on the box. It just has TMCC. But yeah, so I just have a little, uh, I got a Lionel conventional transformer here. I got power to the track and I'm going to see if anything happens. And I know it's not. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing at all. Yep. 
So I was scammed. Uh, it's my fault though. I should have should have opened this thing up. That was stupid, but yeah, very disappointing. Um, don't really know what to do now. Okay, guys. So just kind of wanted to wrap it up. If anyone has any any ideas, uh, comment below. <laughs> Um, is this thing a $240 brick? Um, I guess it is. I, I really don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it still looks great. I can put it out on my shelf. Uh, it's kind of like a, you know, first engine reminder disaster. <laughs> Hopefully I can laugh about it one day. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, it was my fault. Uh, I should have... I should have just opened this thing up in two seconds. I would have saw what I saw and wouldn't have bought it, but I did. So lesson learned and uh, this video was a downer, but <laughs> hopefully uh, uh, I'm going to make another one here soon. Uh, it'll go a lot better than this one went, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you guys next time.